Hi folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Colin, call sign MM0OPX. This weekend at CQ Worldwide CW, biggest CW contest of the year. Uh, last year I put in a, a last minute effort just on the Sunday evening and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. So I thought why not better uh, what I did uh, last year. So what I've actually done is I've set my garden uh, up as a mini antenna farm. And I've got three antennas set up. So I've got the antenna that's normally always set up, which is the off-center fed dipole. I've got phased verticals and I've also got a full wave loop. Now all these antennas are for 40 meters and all I'm going to do is a single band entry for 40. Um, radio I'm running is the ICOM IC705 so and I'm just running in the QRP category, uh, 5 watts. Um, I quite enjoy running QRP and I'm getting, uh, getting to quite like it since I've got the, the 705. Um, I, was, I wasn't going to start the contest till later on today, this is the Saturday, the first day of the contest. Um, but I uh, had a bit go this morning and uh, I managed to work um, about half a dozen or so uh, North America stations with 5 watts which I was thor thoroughly uh, impressed with um, and just uh, not putting a, not putting uh, all my time into it but uh, you know just an hour here and there um, and just working search and pounds I'm not I'm not the uh, the most proficient CW operator so I'm really just uh, working my way up and down the band working all the stations that are there having a little break and then going back and uh, doing the same and hopefully as band conditions change throughout the day, I'll be able to work a few uh, different stations. Now a little bit more on the antennas. Now on my previous video, uh, I was I, I did a, a comparison between the off-center fed dipole, quarter wave, quarter wave vertical and the uh, 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 full wave loop close to the ground. And uh, the, the uh, off-center fed dipole was actually the winner generally. Uh, the vertical was a little bit quieter, probably better on DX but a little bit quieter, quiet in and around Europe. So obviously I have the same off-center fed dipole set up, the same loop, um, but I, instead of having the quarter wave vertical, I've got um, phase verticals up and it's actually um, linear loaded quarter wave verticals. And I don't think they're performing fantastic by any means, but I do think they're performing a little bit better than the um, single uh, quarter wave uh, vertical. Um, because doing comparisons with my remote antenna switch, um, it's become apparent that the... Uh, the, the verticals are as strong as the dipole and sometimes a little bit stronger. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not seeing very much uh, front to back at all, um, but I've certainly made a lot of contacts on it. So uh, we're just going to leave things uh, you know, as they are. I'm not going to play about with them too much. I just want to work a few stations uh, throughout the contest. Now, it's um, Storm Arwen this weekend. So it's, we had probably up to 90 mile an hour gusts last night. So I set up my verticals and thank goodness they, they, they were all good. So I'm quite pleased at that, that the, um, the poles managed to stay up and my guying was good enough. So very pleased to see that. It's very, very cold. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you outside and I just want to show you the antennas and uh, give you a little run through. And then what we'll do is I'll, uh, I'll show you the setup that I've here in the shack behind me here. So I've got the uh, login software here, I've got the 705 and I've got my little keypad which you can't see there. And that's what I'm doing there. Uh, all the operating of the radio off because I'm just working it search and pounds. Well, let's go and have a look at the antenna, shall we? I do apologize for the wind noise here, I um, just can't avoid it, I'm afraid. Um, so, this is the loop that I'm running here. This is a full wave loop, so it's 40 meters and it runs all the way around my garden. So, my garden's just big enough to get this loop in here, and that's fed with a, a two to one balance. My uh, off-center fed dipole. So you go there's the center there. That's the short leg, and then the longer leg comes down a little bit to a kink. Apologies for the sun, and it comes over to the corner of the, the garden there. And then we have our phase verticals. That's the, the relay box for it. So these, these are both identical antennas. So these are. Um, just to be standards, but what I actually have is the, uh, the ground or the radio connected to the radio plate. Get rid of that leaf, and I'm running radials. So there's, I think there's 192 meters of radials on each antenna. Um, I think I remembered that right. But anyway, it equals to 19.2 quarter waves on 40. Now, if the curious thing, I think I'm getting some interaction with the phase verticals because if we look at this antenna and we look at the 40 meter band marker, you can see how 
far it is away from the reel. And if we look at the other antenna, we can see that it is much closer to the reel. So I'm certainly getting interaction from, from somewhere. Um, so I'm not quite sure whether that's coming from my mast, whether it's coming from that um, uh, the street light, but I'm certainly getting interference from somewhere. It's perhaps even, you know, the other 40 meter antennas I have up. So, um, so it's not ideal, and I think that's the reason why they're not performing um, as they should. I'm relatively confident. I've got the spacing right, I've got the tuning right, I've got the coax lines cut right, so the um, phasing lines are 157 degrees, two of those, or feed lines if you want to call them that, and the delay line there, that's 39 degrees. So that's the antennas as we have them set up. And I have them connected to a, a remote switch, which I'll just show you. You'll have seen this before in my previous video. Oh, there we go. So this is the GM6 remote uh, antenna switch and actually all the black stuff is um, liquid uh, electrical tape there just for sealing. So we have the, the uh, coax going back to the radio and um, we've got the off center fed dipole, we've got the phase verticals and then we have the loop and then we've got the uh, Cat5 control cable that runs back to the shack and as well as that there's the uh, switching cable running across there. That also runs up the shack and that allows me to switch between end fire and uh, broadside uh, on the, 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 the phase, phase verticals. Right, let's go and see if we could uh, show a few contacts being made. On the radio side of things, we've just got an old laptop and this is running N3 FGP, uh, N3 FJP software. Um, I really like this suite of software. I purchased a lifetime license way back in 2011. Um, it's not quite as fancy as N1MM and things like that. But it's a, it's a good piece of software. It's hooked via Bluetooth for radio control, cat control, um, to the 705. Um, so yeah, 705, 75 watts, 50% power. I've got it connected to the PSU at the back there. And I've got this little um, keypad. So this is memory 1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, and I've got these uh, programmed, I've got number 1 programmed with my call sign. Got number two programmed with um, with the report and my, my zone, and that's about it. And obviously, in the, in the other side here is my Fibroplex uh, Deluxe key. And I'm, I'm, I'm rarely using that, I'm, I'm almost doing everything with the keypad. Um, as I say, I'm just working search and pounds, um, just uh, probably just not good enough yet to work uh, to try and uh, call CQ and uh, work a pile up. I'm sending my call. He's asked for my call again, he's picked up the X. Yep. So he's now uh, giving me my report on my zone. And I'm giving him the same, and he's just said thank you to you. So as easy as that. So quite a few German stations about, that's to be expected, middle of the day.
See, at least that station persevered for me there, and he's not that, he's maybe an S7 with me. And um, he took a few times to get my call there, so I do appreciate him. Uh, that was OK2QA okay for, for actually persevering there to get my call. There we go, that was the antennas and uh, a little bit of the contest. Um, so where do I start? Um, so first of all, the contest. Um, this is the first um, proper effort I put into a CW contest and the first time I've actually um, submitted an entry. Um, I did a couple of SSB contests a few years ago and, and put in a, a proper entry. Multiple bands, um, but the first time doing it on CW. Um, so really enjoyed it. Um, obviously only went with 40 metres just, just because of what I had set up here. I probably could have went on 40 and 20. Um, but quite happy just doing the single band and operating QRP. Um, you know, it's not everyone's cup of tea, um, but you know, it really, you know, on the um, Saturday morning and Sunday morning, and um, between those two, I worked about a dozen, maybe fourteen um, stations in North America, and that was really, really good. Now, what the contest uh, does is it gives you a chance to work stations that you wouldn't normally um, be able to work. Um, you know, they've they've got these big super stations that transmit really really well but they also receive really really well and um, few stations around about europe that i just could not crack um, z3 notable in uh, north macedonia pile-ups all weekend great signal but I, you know it was just a pile-up and there was nothing i could do with with five watts in a dipole just just absolutely nothing few others few other um tajikistan kazakhstan and um, strong signals all weekend but again um obviously quite sought after uh, entities so I missed out on um, those as multipliers. Now I think I worked for I was worked over forty countries, so I think that was um, pretty pleased with that and pretty proud with that. And um, next year, if I do the same, I'll certainly be targeting uh, fifty countries. Um, I didn't call CQ um, through the contest. Um, you know my CW not the greatest. It's up to about you know twenty, and I can copy probably calls coming in about twenty five. But see the difference between 25 and 30 and 35 words per minute is absolutely huge. So what I didn't want to be doing was calling CQ and asking the stations to just repeat themselves over and over again. But, um, but that's on me. I need to spend some time with Morse Runner, the training program, practicing the pileups. And hopefully by next year, um, I'll be able to call CQ. And I'm quite sure I would probably double um, my QSO count. Now, on to the antennas. So as you know, we had the three antennas that we had the loop. The phase verticals and the off center fade uh, dipole which is up all the time the loop loop it's a good antenna but i won't be putting it up again um in this type of uh, contest uh, reason being is that my noise floor is zero on cw now it's about s7 on ssb but i've nothing at all on cw so i don't really need it on ssb yeah i, I might uh, use it but um Signals were about two to three S points down on average um, over the dipole and the verticals. So um, it was good to have it up. This was the purpose and having the remote antenna switch um, gave me the ability to test. So I wouldn't know any other way. Um, the uh, the off-center fed uh, dipole, it was, it was very, very good. I, I can't really complain about that antenna. It's a dipole. It's up, you know, it's up at a reasonable height and it works well. Um, you know, if you want to make yourself an antenna, you, you really can't go past the dipole uh, in, in some respects there. And sometimes over a vertical, but because the major, majority of your current is right at the top, that's where you get the majority of your radiation. And that's why it can, it can sometimes get out better than a ground mounted vertical. Now, in my previous experiment, I, uh, I pitched the uh, standard quarter wave vertical against the, uh, the dipole. And the dipole just, just had the edge on the verticals. And I believe this was because the majority of the current was uh, uh, is towards the bottom of the vertical. Uh, this, these were kind of European stations there. So there wasn't a lot in it, but the dipole was certainly better. Now I went to the phase verticals. Um, they weren't working as well as what they should have by a long way. Um, I know that. One of the I could see by where, where, the, where the antennas were set. I think I showed you that earlier. Uh, one antenna was much much longer than the other so that's telling me that something is detuning de one of the antennas now that could be the lamp post that's um, five foot behind it six foot behind it or it could be my um it could be the dipole or it could be my um my tower so something is having a major effect um but saying that the phase verticals were performing as well as the dipole so it's performing better than a standard uh, quarter wave vertical 
but not outperforming the dipole, which it really should have. But nevertheless, I've worked lots of stations and I've probably worked 50-50. Um, some stations I've seen a tiny little bit of front to back, but nothing really to speak of. Um, now after the contest, uh, this was on the Monday night, I went out and instead of taking down, so I took down the um, took down the loop, um, I actually disconnected the dipole and I, I pulled the elements in. Um, and what I did was I um, set each vertical for uh, for zero reactance, which I believe is where they, they, they should be set. And then I actually seen some more front to back. I've seen about two to three S points on some uh, some stations, not a lot, but some stations. But nevertheless, one of the verticals was much longer than the other, which is telling me that I'm getting a lot of interaction. So I do not think that 40 meter phase verticals in my small garden um, will be optimised. Not to say that I won't put them up again, but I certainly won't be in a hurry. Now, I've had mixed results with the 20 metres. Um, if you've watched my video where I had the, the linear loaded for 20 metre, I was getting 6, 7 S units uh, on the, in the CW portion. So I really need to get back to it. I will get back to the phase verticals, but um, unfortunately, I don't think 40 metre phase verticals will, uh, um, will be set up here uh, uh, too often. I'll, if I can get them out portable, which really is what they're designed for, um, that's where I'm, uh, I'm going to use them. So that was the contest. That was the anten antennas. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there was something, uh, something uh, you know, you could you could take from that. Uh, and well, until the next time, seventy three.